DPW vehicle purchases. I believe the Public Works Director addressed this, so I'm not sure I should read the whole article again, but um, it amounts to $522,000 for the purchase of three pieces of major equipment for the department. It would be a non-lapsing account, and we'd have to have it completed by March 31st, 2019. Do you have a motion? Yeah, I, I won't be in, in favor of this uh, th this evening uh, because that's a big number. Uh, and additionally, I'm not satisfied that the town's explored the uh, um, concept uh, in light of what was said by the uh, um, public comment tonight, uh, our actual policy. And whether we agree or not, there's some people that, that do. And I, I do understand the difference of uh, Hampton Beach in, in picking up trash. And if it isn't picked up by a private contractor, how that can be seriously problematic. But I would say in terms of uh, capital and operating leases, there was an option for a lease here for three months. Uh, and if we could have finance, and I, I don't know if I need to make this a motion, but I will, is that uh, we examine in terms of uh, uh, vehicle acquisitions and other capital purchases uh, that we look at uh, uh, under uh, government um, accounting principles, GAP, uh, operating and capital leases, uh, vice purchases, and that we institute that that procedure for all of our uh, equipment purchases. And uh, there's some serious advantages of doing so. Uh, you will make the appropriations during the year. If there are no appropriations, continuing appropriations, then the lease is terminated. Many municipalities do it. And, uh, and, and for that reason, I'm not uh, supporting that tonight. And I, I would... Uh, um, as a follow-on, once you have cleared this, Madam Chair, talk about that capital and operating lease uh, synopsis that's presented each time we go to make a, a capital purchase. So are you preventing a motion to... I'm not... I'm just saying... Yeah, I believe me, when I heard you speak earlier, you were asking him to bring it back next week with some information on... Right. Right. So we'll, we'll hold this one off till mm -hmm. next week when he can come back and explore some of those lease purchase or lease Yes, options. sir. Correct, Mr. Barton. January 8th. Okay. We'll have to talk, do that that night. Well, that will be the last, that, that will be the last night you can submit. Okay. So, I'm just concerned because this has been passed over for one year. If it's passed over for another year, you might find yourself without a vehicle to pick up trash. Well, there's an option to lease that was presented tonight, and that uh, I'm you sure there's plenty. don't have any money in the appropriation schedule to do that without canceling some other project in the Public Works Department. Well, we, then we've got a timeline, and we'll have to abide by that. That's, 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 that's what I'm trying to point out, yeah. I also have a question, too, because I believe the finance director met with the auditors, Wozzeck and Sanderson, and I think that she – does she have some information she was going to present to us at some point? She will at your next meeting. Uh, I believe she is expecting that information in the next two days. Okay. He, he had to be tied up in court for the last <clears> couple of days, so – he wasn't able to complete that. We expect it someday, sometime tomorrow or the next day. Okay, so we might be able to look at that at our next Could, meeting. Oh, yes, we're planning on having it for you, or before okay. then, because we want you to have it and read it before you get to the meeting. No sense sitting here talking about something you haven't read, so. Okay. 